Today, in our News in Focus segment, Joy Learning gets interactive with the ultimate winners of the Love FM Primary School Quiz. And they share with us their success story and how they acquired their victory. Hello, lovely viewers. You are welcome to yet another exciting edition of Edu News 360 in Focus segment with me, Anita Yayagbeku. As you know, on this platform, we celebrate the achievements and contributions made by individuals and also institutions concerning the educational sector or to the educational sector. And today, I have here with me brilliant students. And these people are the ultimate winners of the Love FM Primary School Quiz. Can you imagine or can you believe that they made it to the semi-finals last year and this year they came back bigger and better. So we are going to enter into a conversation and I'm sure you like it. Stay tuned. All right, welcome back. So I have here with me, let me introduce our guest. I have here with me Asida Ejewa. Asamoah Dechi, right? And I have here with me Elijah Akwesi Efriye and Rafael Insia, right? Can you guys tell me the classes you are in? I am in BS5. Okay, kindly pass. And I'm in BS4. BS4. And I am in BS6. BS6. So who is the youngest amongst you? You are amazing, but you are the shortest, huh? Okay. Well, I want us to talk about your journey throughout the competition and how it was like. So before then, I want to know how um, you felt last year when you made it to the semi-finals, but you couldn't move further. And this year, you've come back bigger, better, and you took the trophy. Tell us how your experience was. Okay. Last year, when we lost, I was quite sad. Okay. because the way we prepared was it wasn't our mindset to enter the semi-finals mm -hmm. but this year by the grace of god and can you please yes and by the grace of god and hard work we won the trophy amazing Do you also have any experience you want to share kindly pass on the mic Last year we lost, but because of the advice of our teachers that in life, you, you either lose or win. We kept it, and this year we've come far to win the trophy. Amazing. And you? Last two years we went to finals. Last year we went to semi-finals. But we, I felt quite sad because this wasn't what we were expecting. Exactly. Amazing. So I now know how you guys felt and I'm glad that you didn't let that fall keep you where you were, but you came up. So how was your experience like during the competition? I felt very great. Great as in? Because my, my parents and my director told me that in, in life you either win or you lose. Okay. So I felt really great. Amazing. It was exciting, and it was also joyful, and somehow tough. Speak up, speak up. And somehow tough because we were given many things to learn, uh, which is the general knowledge. We were given many things by our teachers yeah. to learn, and the uh, spelling bee too. We were given many words. Some are difficult mm -hmm. to learn, but we worked hard to learn. And if after that, when we qualify for the quarterfinals. Our director did marvelously well sending us to Anita Hotel. Amazing. Semi finals to we went to Lancaster. So hey. it is joyful. Wow. You excited. really enjoyed yourself. Yes. The Asada. I would say that this competition was really competitive and joyful and um, it was competitive, joyful and really tough. Because this year, if you look at the question as compared to last year, they are not the same. For example, some of the words that they even gave their children, I don't even think that some people in university can even spell them. Amazing. But we stayed up into the night, and we still worked hard, and we took the trophy. Amazing. 
Well, my audience, I forgot to mention that they are from Divine Mission Academy, and I'm sure you've heard about their name. So these are winners from Divine Mission Academy. Amazing. Wow. So you mentioned that they gave you a lot of questions and words to learn and everything. How many months? I mean, I'm sure you started practicing and rehearsing and doing all of the studying before the competition even came. Yes. So how long did it take you to, I mean, get yourself prepared and then you told yourself, ah, now when I go and sit there, I'm winning the trophy. Okay. We made our mind that we are coming to win. We're having a winning mentality. Exactly. And because of that, we learned everything our teachers gave us. Okay. We, make, we made sure that everything they've given us is in our head. Okay, so how long did that take? Did it take you months, some few weeks? Yes, please. Months? Yes, please. Well, did you feel stressed during the competition? No, please. Why? Because my parents told me that whenever you are doing something important, don't, be, don't feel shy. Amazing. Because in life, what you want to do is what you want to do. Wow. Sweet at you. I wasn't stressed because I had the mentality of learning more and acquiring more knowledge. So as I got this opportunity, I decided to learn hard and know more things to attain knowledge. Amazing. Well, you met a lot of schools there. There were about 36 schools, right? Yes. Okay. So during the first time you guys went, I mean the first time of the competition, the first day, how was it like? I mean meeting all those schools, the way they were answering questions, how was it like? Okay, I would say that those schools did marvelously well, but at times we were afraid or we were frightened by the, like how the school performed last year. like. For instance, in the quarterfinals and in the semifinals yes. and the finals, some schools that were able to read to the finals last year frightened us this year. But still, we prayed to God, and God gave us the mentality that we shouldn't be afraid, but we should go for the cup. Amazing. So you felt intimidated because they did well last year, and then they are here again? Yes. Wow. So how did you overcome that intimidation? Okay, I overcame that in intimidation by learning hard and praying to God. Mm -hmm. I pray to God that He should give me a confidence level that will not make me intimidated by the other schools, mm -hmm. even how they will even do their things. Still, so God should help us win. Amazing. Well, did you were you also intimidated? Uh, no, please. Why weren't you intimidated? Was the other schools were nice to us. We, the other schools were nice to us, and we did not have any problems. So. What about you, Rafael? Yes, please. You were yes. share an experience with me. Because the the schools we met, they are also good schools like us. For example, Mana, Mana, okay. Hansi Good, and those people. But we pray to God that. I feel kindly speak out for me, okay? But we pray to God that we, we, we should win the cup, mm -hmm. and God made us win the cup. Okay. Well, was there any experience during the competition that you still remember? Anytime you remember, you're like, hey, wow. Yes, please. Share it with us. Uh, it was the semi finals. Okay. See, it reached to a point which was the uh, second round. And my school used a big map to overtake the other schools okay. we were competing with. So at that point, I saw that wow, we'll be able to come, we'll be able to go for it. Wow. Yeah. Hey, so you had some tactics that you know that mm, we had a chance. Yes, please. Wow. What about you, Asada? Okay, so uh, in the contest, something interesting that I had was that the day before the finals, okay. I got sick. I had a stomachache, wow. but and I took some drugs. So in t 
like as a normal person would do after taking the drugs you go and sleep yes. but i didn't want to sleep i prepared my mind that i'm going to take the trophy so after 30 minutes of resting then i began work again and continued to learn wow wow i mean it's inspiring you know someone would have just said nah maybe quite win 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 and then i'm putting my health on the line for this but you you kept on pushing you kept on going i admire that about you that's beautiful all right so how did you feel after the big win or did you wait i want to ask did you realize that you had won before they announced that you had won yes please you did yes. how because according to the sec according to the second round the the gap was very huge so uh, we knew that even if we even lose in the third round yes still we are going to win Make but up. by god's grace he didn't allow us to lose in the third round mm -hmm. and so that added some marks to us and we won with a gap of nine marks wow amazing rafael how did you feel when you won i felt very exciting great and happy you were you were very excited, great and happy. How did yes. you express that? I expressed that by when we won the trophy. Yeah. When I went to my parents bought me things that I needed. So I thanked them, then I prayed to God that I thanked him for letting us win the cup. Yes, amazing. What about Elijah? I felt happy because I had many things like storybooks and other books that will help me and will let me improve in my spellings and other parts that I'm not learning. Yes, so now please. that you've mentioned you had things like yes, storybooks please. and everything, did Joy Learning also contribute to your learning um, time, how you were preparing yourself towards the contest? Did Joy Learning do any contribution? Yes, please. How? They taught me things that weren't taught by, weren't taught, that weren't taught by me, by my teachers, like computing like this. They okay. taught me more important things that will help me in the quiz. Okay. What about you, Asida? Did you encounter any lesson on joy learning that helped you join the competition? Yes. Tell me about it. Uh, especially the history part. According to Joy Learning History, it improved my history skills because in the history, I was very poor there, but still, because of Joy Learning, it helped me to improve and I could also answer the history questions that were given to us in wow. the contest. What about you, Afel? Yes, please. How? Because I don't normally watch it, but I watch math, science, and English, which are the core subjects in our in our Calculate, education yeah. in Ghana. So I thank Joy Learning for letting me learn things that I did not know okay. in these three core subjects. That's great. So. I mean, after your victory and everything, I'm sure they gave you prizes. Yes, please. Kindly let us know what you were given for your victory. They gave us Samsung tablets. Wow. Drinks. Each person? Yes, please. Wow. Drinks and money. What? And money. And money? Yes, please. Okay, I want to know how much you were given. This, we were given a cash prize of 3,000 Ghana cities. Wow. Yes, please. Hey! You are rich, too. You are not small people cry, so you are, you are rich now. Yes. Hey, Asida, did they give you any other thing? Yes, please. What? They gave us a, a box of top, top choco spread, mm -hmm. and they also gave us a 50-inch television. Wow. A 50-inch television? Plus the trophy. <laughs> Amazing. So can I see your trophy? Yes, please. Amazing. I'm, wait, I'm waiting to see it. Hey. Wow, let, let me have a feel of it. Wow, this is their trophy, and they have a winner. I mean, I'm sure that your school might be so proud of you. Yes, please. 
so when you got to camp, um, campus that day, how was the like the cheering up like? It was very nice and interesting because we didn't uh, we expected to win that day. So as God granted us the victory, yeah. we decided to dance in glorification of His name. Amazing, Elijah. Tell me how it it was like. It was very nice and joyful because we danced for like some hours and we ate our favorite food also which is jollof rice jollof rice yes, it's please. your favorite food yes it's please. my favorite food too hey <laughs> so when you got to campus your mates were sharing shouting and all those yes, things please. so right now how do your classmates relate with you They see me as now a, a civilized person. A civil mm. When you say that, so you were not civilized before. You were, right? Yes, I right. mean, to even be chosen to represent your school alone, it's, it's another thing on its own. Then you want to. So tell us, how does your classmate treat you now? How do they see you? When they approach you, how is it like? Now they see me as, as an excellent person. Excellent person. Yes. Shako. Yes, please. Aish. that. Now, when my classmates approach me, they see me as a brilliant type. So anytime that they want help, they come to seek help from me. And now they also treat me like a great person. Wow. Who has, bring, who has brought uh, fame to the school. To the school. That's true. Rafael. They see me as a very nice person. As a very nice person, yes, as in how you are very nice, as in you are nice already. So, because when hey. they need help, they will come to me and ask me for help. So they see me as a very nice person. Amazing. So how do you intend to keep this so that next year you have it again and you be seated here? You defend the cup. You in, you defend it. Yes, Amazing. Please. How how do you intend to defend it? We will learn really harder than this year and we'll de 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 defend the cup Amazing. and bring it home. Elijah. We will learn more harder and improve on our weaker parts and now defend the trophy. So what are your weaker parts? It's the spelling B. Spelling B? Yes. Oh, please. Wow. So you, you are sure next year dear you even be that that won't be your weaker part again. I'm not I'm not sure you have any weaker part to even talk about. Yes please. That's nice. As that Okay, so next year, I'm expecting them to do even marvelously well than what we did this year. Okay. Because this year's questions were not the type of questions that we expected. Oh, yeah. But by God's grace, God gave us the answer and how to answer the questions. Okay, so would all of you be contesting next year? No, please. So who will be contesting? Raphael and Elijah. So I will see you guys again next year. Hey Raphael, it's like you mean next year, crowd. <laughs> I said Raphael, Elijah, you mean next year. It's not here, but you are great for it. That's nice. I want you to keep up this good work, okay? I'm, your school is so proud of you, and I am proud of you. Joy Learning is proud of you. Love FM is proud of you. And every other school that contested, we are so proud of you that you had the confidence to come on screen to show us your intelligence, your brilliance, and to show us how smart you are, okay? So I'm hoping that next year the competition will, be, will even be more than it was this year. So right now, I want you all to look in the screen one after the other, and then encourage your friends out there. Maybe there's a school out there that would like to compete next year, or somebody that also wants to go to a spelling bee, or any other competition, but is still scared and doesn't have the confidence. So one after the other, I want you to inspire somebody, okay? Okay, so my dear friends who are still in school and those who are also at the house, I encourage you that you continue to learn hard and read this level that I read. It is all by God's grace and hard work. So you must focus. Sorry, can you do it like this? Okay. Yes. 
so you must focus on whatever your teachers give you and make sure that you learn very hard and pray to god and you will see where god will lift you up to and let me advise you above the sky is your limit so you can do better than what your other colleagues have done thank you amazing elijah I will also inspire inspire them by telling them to take their can you kindly look in the camera to take their studies very serious because to um, accomplish something it must be done with the writing and the writing is to learn. Amazing, I feel. I am telling them to learn hard and pray to God so that in the next future they will take the lead. Amazing. Well, we are not done with the conversation. I have here with me the director. Godfred Awa and the administrator Nicodemus Kabuba here. So we are going to hear from them and see how they got the children prepared for the competition and to get them to get this trophy. Stay tuned. I'm so glad you are here with us. So first of all, I want to know how you prepared the children for this competition. Yes, um, thank you very much. Um, so the school is Divine Mission Academy. Yeah. We are in a mission, and that mission is a divine calling wow. to train Ghanaian children in the way we want them to go when they grow up. So we at Divine Mission Academy, we believe so much about ethical teaching and ethical parenting. Exactly. So what that means is that as parents and as teachers, let us train these little ones the way we want them to become. And they will surely become it. So in DMA, it's been hard work, believing in God and working hard to accomplish our dreams. Wow. So there is a solid team of teachers and supporting staff behind this. And the most interesting thing that I will want you to note is that this win is actually a win for the entire municipality of Ejesu. Wow. Yes, Divine Mission Academy is located in Ejesu. Mm -hmm. So when you are driving to Kumasi, that is the, 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 the town you will get to before you get to the city center. Mm -hmm. And one thing Joy FM and for that matter, Love FM may not even have recognized is how this context has brought together or has enhanced the relationship between the schools and the community and even between private schools and public schools. And I'll tell you why. Okay. Just yesterday, we were at, uh, we paid a, a, case, a courtesy calls on the municipal director of education, uh, Jesu, okay. and to also meet members of the Metro Education Oversight Committee. Then there was another courtesy call on the MCE okay. of Ejiso. And the excitement of the Director of Education of the Ejiso Municipality, members of MIOC, that's Metro Education Oversight Committee, okay. and the excitement of the Municipal Chief Executive will tell you that this context is doing a lot of work because this win simply tells the way the whole world what a Jesu municipality is doing exactly. uh, just last year a, 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 a colleague school as riverside academy they we con they contested in national uh ghana month context okay. And a student from Riverside Academy, which is another amazing school within the Ejisu municipality. We have several schools in the Ejisu municipality that are doing amazingly well, but the world probably would not have heard of us if it was not this context. So expect a lot from that municipality. Okay. And there is an amazing relationship, a refreshing relationship between even uh, NAPS, that is Ghana National Association of Private Schools within Ejisu Municipality, mm -hmm. and the public schools. Because the reason is simple. We are gradually becoming fully aware that education is for all. Mm -hmm. 
whether the child is in the public school or is in the private school he is a Ghanaian child in the first place so there is a, a refreshing uh, relationship that is now being emerged between the NAPS of Ejisu and the, the entire municipality headed by the uh, director of education mm -hmm. uh, I call him Nana and that's uh, Mr. Kopna Ousu is doing very well he has done a lot of intervention uh, there is currently the Miyok that is actually uh, playing an oversight role uh, and they don't discriminate against a private or public school mm. for example before we went for the finals they paid a kitty's call on divine mission academy and they made a donation wow. and they talked to these children to further encourage them so it, it is it is amazing how this contest is bringing together stakeholders within the educational space mm. and we will just hope that uh love fm and for that matter joy fm will keep doing this amazing uh, gift to children amazing this is so beautiful so we would like to also hear your voice thank you for the opportunity uh, i can't say much without uh, giving much uh, honor to the team that is behind this uh, the teachers, all the working staff in Divine Mission Academy, they have contributed diverse ways to uh, ensure that this uh, win is ours. Yeah. Huh. We can't also forget the supporting parents who in one way or the other, they have been so helpful to us in uh, training these little ones the way we expect and it resulted in the win. Exactly. Yeah. We can't also forget the PTA chairman. Mm -hmm. He has always been with us anytime we call on him, uh, especially this quiz yeah. uh, contest when it started. So uh, for this year's win, uh, so many people contribu contributed into the, what the achievement that we have at the moment. Mm -hmm. And we are so much grateful. And, uh, I always say divine mission uh, is like some divine collection of team members that are together. You call on them within a minute, everybody is ready wow. into action. So, and uh, I will thank sincerely uh, to all the working staff. They have contributed so much to this win this year. That's beautiful. I want to ask one last question. How do you um, intend to help maintain the children? Like to help the children maintain this trophy? Yeah, thank you. Uh, just like I said, uh, is I we saw this win in two angles. Yeah. The first one is that it simply confirms what management teachers are doing in Divine Mission Academy. And it also will tell the children that our teachers are teaching us the right thing. Because when external people assess us, they will realize that they still did well. The second thing is that it is a call on Divine Mission Academy to even improve further, exactly. especially in areas that we are not on top. So it is, it is a further challenge on management, on the administrators, on teachers, and on even parents. That's what the administrator said, that the parents have been amazingly supportive yes. and making sure that uh, sometimes when things are not even going well, a parent could call you and say, what is happening? Then that tells you that every one of the stakeholders in these children's education is willing to see them on top. Mm -hmm. And we are not going to rest on our oars. This is a challenge. And just like the learners said, we are going to defend it through extra hard work and uh, constant uh, reliance on God mm -hmm. because we want to train up these children to be very, very obedient. Okay. That is just about godliness. Godliness means obedience to the norms of society, to the rules of society, yeah. so that uh, together we can uh, give these children uh, what we want them to have for posterity. Amazing. Yeah. It's, it's beautiful having you here and hearing all of these things. And you've done so much work to get these children to be at 
this stage last year i know you were very downcasted when this happened and this year you've shown us that the work you are doing is is good and then we need to appreciate it more thank you so much for being on this platform with us thank you, thank you. Well, lovely viewers, it has been an amazing discussion and I have been inspired. And I'm sure you have too because these children have, I mean, brought home a trophy to show how intelligent they are and to also show us how much work Divine Mission Academy is putting into the academics of these children. So we want to say a very big thank you for them for joining us here. And we also want to say thank you for watching. I am your host, Anita Yayagbeku. I'll catch you same time next week with another amazing personality. Watch out. Here is what we have for you this week on Joy Learning. This week on Joy Learning, basic classroom lessons are from Monday to Friday at 4.30 p.m. with a repeat at 6 o'clock a.m. and 9 o'clock a.m. Monday, basic 6, science, root systems of plants. Tuesday, basic 4, math numbers and numerals wednesday basic five ict generation of computers first and second generations first day basic five english language types of noun grammar friday basic four science classification of animals jhs1 lessons are from monday to friday at 3 30 pm with a repeat at 6 30 am monday ict computer virus tuesday English language, demonstrative and interrogative pronouns. Wednesday, French. Thursday, science, water cycle. Friday, RME, Christian worship. JHS2 lessons are from Monday to Friday at 5 o'clock p.m. with a repeat at 11.30 a.m. Monday, social studies, Ghana's cooperation with other nations part 2. Tuesday, RME, time and leisure. Wednesday, ICT, search engine. Thursday, Math, Vectors, Friday, French. JHS3 Revision Show is on Monday to Friday at 6 o'clock p.m. with a repeat at 12.30 p.m. Monday, ICT, Storage Devices of a Personal Computer. Tuesday, Social Studies, Culture. Wednesday, Science, Mixtures. Thursday, French. Friday, English Language, Comprehension. SHS1 new lessons are from Monday to Friday at 1.30 p.m. with a repeat at 5 o'clock a.m. and 7.30 a.m. Monday, Integrated Science, The Nitrogen Cycle. Tuesday, English Language, Identification of Words that Contain Vowels. Wednesday, Physics, Spherical Mirror. Thursday, Elective ICT, Types of Information System. Friday, General Agriculture, Introduction to Agriculture. SHS2 lessons are from Monday to Friday at 2.30 p.m. with a repeat at 4 o'clock a.m. Monday, Elective ICT, Spreadsheet. Tuesday, General Agriculture, Agriculture Development. Wednesday, Financial Accounting, Single Entry and Incomplete Record. Thursday, Chemistry, Factors Affecting the Solubility of Substances. Friday, History, General Effect of the Partition of Africa on Ghana. SHS3 Revision Show is on Monday to Friday at 7.30 p.m. and they repeat at 9.30 p.m. Monday, Geography, Physical and Chemical Weathering. Tuesday, Literature in English, Drama, Back in Anger. Wednesday, Core Math, Circle Theory. Thursday, Physics, Curved Mirrors. Friday, Core Math, Word Problems. Eddie News 360 shows on Saturdays at 10 o'clock a.m., Sunday at 1 o'clock p.m., and on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 7 p.m. For more videos on our lessons, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Joy Learning TV. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Joy Learning TV and on Instagram at Official Joy Learning TV. Joy Learning, keep learning. <laughs>Do you have anyone you want to celebrate this month of April? Send details to Joy Learning and let us wish that special person for you. Are you wondering how you are going to do that? Watch this video.
It's time to wish your loved ones well on that special occasion. Is it the birthday or anniversary of your child, friend, classmate, your schoolmate, your teacher, or non-teaching staff of your school? The all-new JL Birthday Wish by Ghana's number one educational TV channel hits your regular classroom screen. And as usual, it is time for Jack to play and have fun. It has been made easy for you and this is how. Send a picture of your loved ones. Add their names, school, and location, and a heartwarming birthday birthday message. And finally, follow us on official Joy Learning TV on Instagram, like the JL Birthday Wish post and tag five friends. Send it to our WhatsApp line 0247-108-738 and voila! Your birthday wish will be aired on Joy Learning TV and all our social media platforms. Learning is made fun with the JL Birthday Wish. Joy Learning. Keep learning. This is all we have for you this week on Joy Learning. My name is Anita Yayuagbeku. Thanks for watching Edu News 360.